Good evening, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. Today is day, what day is today? Today's day 26. Sorry about that, guys. Today we're going to talk about, uh, continue our series on opportunities. And I know yesterday I told you we were going to dive into commissions. I think we're going to hold off until tomorrow. There's a couple of things I want to make sure are working, um, at least to showcase as uh, as fully functional as possible and so i got a couple of questions on some things they're going to be answered tomorrow about commissions but today we're going to talk about the difference in opportunities between a lost opportunity and an archived opportunity so super important when you're in your actual opportunity this is the one that we've been working on for quite a while now a a lost opportunity is an opportunity where I know that there is no longer an opportunity to work with these people, right? So I think about in the past, I have had buyers um, that I was working with. I thought everything was going really well. All of a sudden they terminate their buyer contract with me. They end up going to purchase a home with their brother and they you know, solidify that transaction and they're good to go, right? It's not a fun situation, but we know that it happens. And that essentially is an opportunity that is lost, right? I no longer have the opportunity to work with those people at this time because they went and purchased a house. So if that was the case, then I would want to mark that opportunity as lost. And so in order to do so, I need to come into the details page of the opportunity. And then on the right hand side here, you will see I can click on lost opportunity, okay? So basically says, are you sure you want to do this? Do you want to save it as a lost opportunity? I can click undo and it still saves me from having to do it. So it's a two step process. I've got to click on lost opportunity and then I have to say, yes, I want to save this, get rid of it, you know, lose this opportunity. And so I'm going to undo that. The second um, other option is to archive an opportunity. So you do have the ability if for some reason you are working with a client and let's just say um, I've had clients that spend the summer attempting to sell their house and unfortunately we don't get it under contract and they say well Marty we're we're gonna go ahead and continue to live with it because we only wanted to sell it during the summer we're not gonna move our kids during the year so um, we'll revisit it next summer well that's not necessarily a lost opportunity I still have the opportunity to work with them in the future I'm gonna go ahead and just archive that opportunity um, it also might be something where they say, well, let's take it off the market and it's not anything near as drastic. Well, let's just take it off the market for the holiday season. Let's go back live first week of January. So I might archive that opportunity and then bring that back after the fact. So to archive an opportunity, I'm just going to click on these three ellipses and then choose archive opportunity. Again, a two step process. Are you sure you would like to archive the opportunity? I'm going to go ahead and click on archive. And you can see that opportunity then leaves my pipeline. How do I get back that archived opportunity or see my archived opportunities? I would come up to the drop down box. I would click on settings. I would wait for my main menu to load and I can see command settings. I would come down to opportunity archive and click on opportunity archive. And then you would see all of the opportunities that I had previously archived. I can sort by date archived and see here is the, well, when was the one that we just did? 12, 17. So it looks like that one is not actually showing up as archived. So that's interesting. Um, so I'd have to dive into that a little bit more. I think that this may be creation date. I'm not 100% sure why the ones that I just archived are not showing up. But um, again, I'll look into that and get you guys an update next time we talk. Let's see if I can get contact. Was it seller listing three? Unfortunately, I use the same names for a lot of my opportunities when I'm doing tests. So I'm not 100% sure which one this was. So, but technically this is where you would go in and find the opportunity archive that you uh, put in. Of course, you could also search for the opportunity or the address um, and find it from there as well. So. Um, that's the difference essentially when you're in your opportunity pipeline between lost opportunity and archived opportunity. Um, also, if you're utilizing the lost opportunity, it is going to impact your conversion numbers as well. So when you get into some of the reports later on when we do those challenges and we're looking at the conversion ratio of listings taken to listings closed, 
Um, if you're archiving an opportunity, then it's not necessarily counting against you. It's just basically removing it from ever being taken, essentially. If you are um, if you are losing the opportunity, right, marking it as a lost opportunity, then it is saying, yep, you took it and you didn't get it sold, so you lost that opportunity, so that's going to affect your conversion ratio. So just a little bit of information there about the difference between archive and lost opportunity. Just be careful in using both of those and make sure that they are used appropriately for the appropriate situations. That's it for today, guys. Super excited to be uh, in San Antonio right now, um, joining the three San Antonio market centers tomorrow for their Tech the Halls event. Um, it's going to be an amazing event. So any of you last minute stragglers, if you're still thinking about uh, getting a ticket, I'm not sure if we can get them this late or early in the morning. And yet I bet if you reach out to the right people, you might be able to. Um, otherwise, for those of you that are already going to attend, I look forward to seeing you there. And for those of you that are not, I'll look forward to seeing you as always in the morning or might be tomorrow evening, honestly. So hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, guys. Thanks so much.